awful this is the state of free speech mm. is in Britain you the, the ability to, to say things like you just did about fat people yeah. to crack jokes about in my view fat people and gingers are the two classes that we must at all costs protect against political correctness we must it must be okay to mock fatties and gingers <laughs> until the end of human civilization <laughs> until the last person gets zapped by the alien space ray it has to be okay to mock <laughs> fatties and gingers say, you know because it's a truth so so it's an unspoken truth so therefore it's my obligation and my duty <laughs> to, to, to speak, speak it. it yes yes <laughs> yes milo but what are you babies, doing in england <laughs> ginger babies we all know as mums and you'll identify with this as a mother uh that we nobody wants a ginger baby nobody wants one and when um, my last baby came out I looked down because Mark has uh, some ginger elements in his beard, and I always say to girls, right. "You're worried about you might have the recessive gene be, and not Jesus, know it." Yeah, and the thing is with Mark, he's brown haired, but his beard some traces of ginger. No, that's just the sun. Because even not, I have that. No, no, even I get it. No, Milo, there's no ginger in you, darling. You're too fabulous. There's never been any ginger in me. I right. can confirm. <laughs> <I can, laughs> So, Mark had a ginger beard, a fact. I'm telling you, You're so no I was like, black right. Are there ginger black? No. No, there's no ginger, no ginger black. Just because black people are fabulous, so they're yes, not ginger. They no ginger. So, uh, when Max came out, and then I saw him, there was some sort of blood on his head, don't faint, it's okay. And I was like, oh my God, he's redhead. <laughs> like, Give that baby away. Because it's iron rich, so it looks a little what? gingery, you know? It's like but I was, yeah, so it's like ginger babies, like regular I mean, babies, but so much harder to love. Oh, yeah. <laughs>